Tamar leads Georgia in Civilization VI, Rise and Fall. Remembered today for her diplomatic prowess, support of the arts, piety, and extension of the Georgian kingdom, it is no wonder Tamar is canonized as a saint. Georgia's unique ability is strength in unity. When changing eras into a golden age, you receive an additional bonus on top of your golden age bonus. This makes it easier for Georgia to achieve and maintain golden ages throughout the game. Georgia's unique building is the Tsike, a replacement for the Renaissance walls. These are built at a lower production cost and provide faith. Their unique unit is the Kevsereti. This melee unit gains a combat bonus on hill terrain and ignores all hill movement penalties. Tamar's unique ability is Glory of the World, Kingdom, and Faith. After declaring a protectorate war, she gains faith during the beginning turns of the war. Also, she gets extra free envoys when sending envoys to city-states of her majority religion. Nestle your cities into hilly terrain to fully take advantage of the Kevsereti's bonuses. And build your walls high for an impenetrable defense. Tamar is a fierce but pious warrior queen with a versatile style that could lend itself to any victory type. Will your walls outlast your enemies? How will you lead Georgia in Sid Meier's Civilization VI Rise and Fall?